disgraced journalist Howard Kurtz, who now works for Fox News, decided to pick a fight with Stephen Colbert. It's probably a horrible mistake. Listen to him get angry, and then uh, we'll come back and I'll explain more about it. Imagine that. All right, but now you mentioned is it fair to talk about a man's age? Also questions about is it fair to talk about a woman's age? When I did a story for a special report this week about growing questions raised by detractors and some pundits about Hillary Clinton's age, uh, Stephen Colbert decided to take me on. Take a look. Fox News has just uncovered a bombshell of a lifetime. Howard Kurtz looks at the controversial question of how old is too old. The age question is growing louder than just a whisper. Raised by former candidate and now Fox News host Mike Huckabee. Look, she's going to be at an age where it's going to be a challenge for her. If Hillary Clinton is the Democratic candidate for president, she'll turn 69 just before the election. That's right. Fox News is ready to project that in the 2016 presidential election, Hillary Clinton will be two years older. I mean, 69, that is old. Like old, old. Listen, Colbert, I asked whether it was fair for commentators to harp on her age. I guess that was too nuanced for your black and white view of the world. And you mentioned Reagan's age. Ronald Reagan was 69 when he took office. I played a clip of the Gipper. It's more than you did. And what about uh, the fact that I was quoting Charlie Cook, the columnist? You kind of, that didn't fit your comedic narrative, did you? So look, even fake anchors should have standards. You, sir, were not even truthy. <laughs> Howard Kurtz is going to talk about Truthy. You were fired from CNN and the Daily Beast for serial inaccuracy. Those aren't my words. Those are the words of your formal, former boss. Wow, man. This guy's got balls on him. And who picks a fight with a comedian? He's a comedian, dude. And the sad thing is you actually get better news from listening to Jon Stewart or listening to Stephen Colbert than if you listen to Fox News. I'm always reminded of that poll, which is incredible, that Fox News viewers are actually less informed than people who watch no news. Isn't that incredible? It shows you how much they're into propaganda and how much they're just pushing their agenda and they disregard the facts and the information. But did you notice what he did there? It's the oldest trick in the book, man. And it's sad that he actually... I could tell by how he did that that he actually thinks he's actually doing journalism. Even though uh, Howard Kurtz is the most notorious for doing false equivalents. He's always 50% on this side, 50% on that side. Everybody's equally right and equally wrong because neutrality is, is correct. No, neutrality is not objectivity. Objectivity means calling it like it is no matter where... It, the truth falls in the partisan divide. And he doesn't do that. He just He's just concerned with neutrality. But he, he said, Oh, when I did that segment questioning Hillary Clinton's age, didn't you realize I was just asking questions? Yes, Howard, that's the point. We understand that. That's the oldest Fox News trick in the book. If you present it as a question, then you get to pawn off responsibility for how ridiculous the segment is. So, for example, when they did the inf now infamous segment about uh, President Obama and his wife when they did a pound on stage, they go, what is that hand motion that they did? Is it a pound? Is it a sign of affection? Is it a terrorist fist jab? We're just asking questions here. And that allows them to say, what? It was just a question. We didn't actually mean it. We don't think it was terrorism. We're just asking and saying, some people think it's terrorism. They always, It's leading. It's leading the witness. They're doing that to plant the seed in the mind of the dumbass viewer so they go, yeah, she is too old, that damn Hillary. Meanwhile, what do they disregard? What do they omit? There's been roughly 16,000 segments on Fox News where they praise Ronald Reagan for being the bre best president ever. How many of them have mentioned that he was 69 years old when he got in office? How many of them have mentioned that, hey, was Ronald Reagan too old when he was in there? And by the way, at the end of his term, what, I think he was getting Alzheimer's, right? By the end of his second term? Yeah, okay. So they never mentioned Ronald Reagan being too old, ever. Ever, 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 ever. Every time they've mentioned him on air, which is a lot, right? And they also never mentioned... For fuck's sake, John McCain just ran in 2008 and you guys filleted him 24-7 and overtly campaigned for him and not President Obama. Nobody ever mentioned that maybe John McCain is too old. But see, that's the thing. It's You're clearly viewing it through partisan glasses and you're trying to do little tricks but plant seeds by saying, oh, is she too old? I don't know. Again, we're just, we're just you know, presenting both sides here and some people think she's too old. Yeah, one idiot who's also on your payroll who you paid to say that, now you're going to pontificate about it for a week because you're trying to make all your viewers go, yeah, she's too old. 
So please, Stephen Colbert did nothing wrong. His segment was totally factual. You guys are total hypocrites. If it's Reagan or McCain, oh no, not too old. We're not even going to ask the question. If it's Hillary, all of a sudden there's a question. All of a sudden there's a question about what age makes sense and doesn't make sense and is she too old.